Last time on KJ Noon's Uncaged. Hollywood and the beach are only parts of the training ground to be covered in the few remaining days leading to this young fighter's test of power and will. His match on June 18th against opponent George Masvidal, set up initially as a non-televised undercard, is now to be featured live on Showtime. With the general public now watching from all angles, KJ must work his own angles to win not only the crowd, but what every fighter dreams of, the shot at the title. Good man, 10 days left. This is uh, the week before the fight is the hardest week up to the fight for the whole camp. While the training involves early mornings, strict diet, bag work, sparring, and rigorous exercise, some of what it may take to win involves the details not shown in a manual. We're just doing all the preparation, you know, fine tuning, getting ready for the big show next week. Something as simple as a trip to the barber shop could be the errand that makes the difference. As some of uh, today's fight preparation, we're gonna go get this guy a haircut. We're gonna make sure that he's not gonna be wiping his hands and he's gonna be catching punches and delivering them. We don't wanna have any stipulations in our game and bottom line, we're gonna get a damn haircut. At least according to some vocal fans. Yeah, man, my hair, I still don't care. <laughs> I, I, I liked it long. To tell you the truth, and uh, and I I let it stay out for even three or four months after the fight. I still like it long, but uh, I cut it, and uh, we're gonna get another cut today, just to uh, for all the people that think I need a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> I want to just make sure that you cut his hair really good because we want him wiping uh, punches instead of bangs this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. All right, all right. <laughs> Was it hard to bob and weave with all that hair? No. Before? No, nah, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. Now, everybody <laughs> thinks so, but not really. I, yeah, uh, I think it kept my hands up, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I mean, it did keep his hands up, but, you know, <clears throat> we, we, we want to take away all of the advantages from, for the opponent. I don't know. <laughs> and I think that was an advantage, you know. Maybe I have some special conditioner that's even better than Vaseline. Plus, you know, <laughs> the plus the, you know, the crowd, the crowd and the fans and everybody, they complained about it. So, let, let's, you know, we're in this for you guys, too. That's right. So let's make we'll, you guys we'll happy. You guys bands. want a haircut? We're gonna give you a haircut. Huh? Yeah, we're getting a haircut for everybody that wants me to get one. Yeah. God, enough, enough already. He keep his hands up. You know, he was keeping his hands up nice and good, but we're gonna make sure. He's, you know, he's wiping shots away instead of punches. I mean, instead of bangs. Either way, every fan adds up to what any sanctioned fight must have. An audience. And one of the reasons I think people love the sport is obviously the competition and you know the battle one on one. But I think you know also like I was saying, you know I, how much I love my job and what I like to do. I think some people sometimes want to do the same thing to their coworkers or or their boss. You know they just want to somebody's in a cubicle and they just want to blast their coworker. You know what I'm saying just like you know uh, when we go to the gym and we spar and fight. So you know. And you never know where you'll come across a fan of the fight game. Who's your favorite boxer? Uh, dude, I used to like Pernell Whitaker. Pernell, see, there you and go. dudes like that. You already like, started off on a good foot. Paul Spatafora, yeah, dudes right. like that. You Paul Spatafora was good. I don't know what happened to him after he, he had that mind, shootout dude. with his girl. He lost his mind. He was yeah. good. He now, was now, really good. Now I trust this guy with my hair. He's a <laughs> there you go. Now, okay, he's in. You're in. You're in. You're in. Check his credentials. That is what makes this one-on-one -on -one sport about more than just two participants. Yeah, at the end of the day, honestly, dude, <laughs> mostly what your lady thinks about your that's, that's all that matters. Their wedding, only months after the fight, Melanie is more than a girl in KJ's corner. Uh, where would I be if I didn't have my girl in my life? Probably not fighting. But when I think about it, you know, I feel like I've been pretty successful in fighting. I guess behind every good man is a good woman, right? Him being a fighter is definitely a huge part of him, of who he is, you know? So I do love that about him. He's motivated. 
he'll fight for, for everything in life and in the ring. He always wants to win. He's super competitive. And that definitely is a huge part of his personality. And I do, I love that so much about him. I love everything about him. So him being a fighter is just one of the things that I do love. But fighter is just the basic description. Hey, it's a fight. It can go anywhere. A kick, elbow, a punch, a submission, a choke. It doesn't matter. That's what you train for, you know? So I'm ready for wherever the fight goes. If it goes on the ground, if it stays standing, if it goes into submission, that's what I train for. But um, I like to, you know, I like to fight. So it doesn't matter whether it's punching or submissions against the cage or on the ground or standing up. I'm down for it. While KJ started off in boxing, mixed martial arts calls for a wide variety of tactics. A common part of this variety is the groundwork of jujitsu. And back at the arena gym, this part is more than covered. Oh man, he's hard to keep down. That guy, uh, you know, his ground game is real underrated. A lot of people think he doesn't have any ground game because he's a boxer, or he's a, you know, real, real good Thai guy, but uh, you know, his, his ground's underrated. He stands up every single time that I try to get him down. Beat him with our head all the time, and our hands are going to be on his biceps. One of the things you got to remember is KJ has been fighting a long, long time. You can't train in this game and be serious about it without working on your ground game. And one of the things you have to remember is to excel and be at the level you're at, to be on your back with Nick Diaz on top of you, to be mounted by Conor Hume, to be in a, in, a, in a vulnerable position like that, and to never even have a submission attempt on yourself. It's got to say something about your ground game to start with. Go. Now I put ourselves in position. Now I put that knee back down. And, uh, and I'm here to tell you he works on it just as much as he works on anything else. Uh-oh. Hard work, baby. Hard work. Good job, baby. <laughs> But after hours of blood, sweat, and tactics, the day ends where the true motivation is. Hey, you gotta make time, you know, for your personal life. You know, I got, I got my fiance, you know, I, I got other things to do all the time. He does try and get, you know, our little date, date nights in, which is good. So we'll do like a family day. We'll take the dogs to the park or, or go do something together. He doesn't have to do that, so it's nice. You know, this is obviously my job, and I do this every day, and this is what helps pay the bills, but the most important thing is, you know, family, and obviously, you know, my fiance. And the countdown continues for everyone. I think I put my whole life, you know, into this, into this one fight. Whether it be for the support of a loved one. We're definitely counting on him to win this, and we know we'll, he'll win it. A feeling of vicarious victory, or nothing more than the thrill of the battle. All of us can have a stake in the tradition that is fight night. Nevertheless, only one can bring forth the win. And for that, somewhere, a fighting heart is at work. This is KJ News Uncaged. This has been a Ubiquity Broadcasting Corporation production. All rights reserved.